welcome to the Royce, and this is where we raise youthful soldiers for Christ. I am your host, Grace Michere. This week, coming to you from Kericho County, we have been getting many requests from our viewers to come over here, and we thank God for the opportunity. We are in Kericho High School, one of the most beautiful schools that I've ever seen. They're so green and such a wonderful place, and we are blessed to be here today. We are heading over to see the young men, to fellowship with them in the service. So come with us as we go and see what they have for us right here in Kericho County. My name is Kokoye George from three students. My name is Ryan Kipnatich from three students, the school president. I would like to take you through the school history. And our great institution, Kiritsu High School, was founded in the year 1959 with a total population of 1,409 students, 68 teachers, and 13 and teaching staff under our able principal, Dr. Daniel Chelule. The vision, of the vision of our school is being a great institution that, pro that provides leaders for all sectors of the society. The mission of our school is to nurture a boy child, to be responsive to global dynamics by providing a conducive envir environment for teaching and learning. The core values of our school are fear of God, determination, diligence, and integrity. Our school is known as the seedbed of greatness. This is seen whereby the leaders who come from this school, like the cabinet secretary in charge of the energy, Charles Keter, we have the inspector general of police, Hilary Mutambai, our Ebo governor, Kericho County, Professor Paul Chekwon, we have Bomet governor, uh, Governor Hilary Barchok, we have Senator Kericho County, uh, Aaron Cheruyot, we have Senator Bomet County, Christopher Langat, we have several MCS across the counties, and we have Governor uh, Narok County, Samuel Oletunai. Our school is great, and leaders come out of this. So we welcome, welcome the Royce to, to Kericho High, High School. Africa Tu 
My name is Kiprob Gerald, a student in Kericho High School from 4 East, and our motto is Welcome to our school service, come with us.
and the topic of my message today an overcomer's mindset if you want to overcome what are the principles of an overcomer an overcomer is a person who prevails despite the turmoil he is facing in the face of turmoil and tragedy an overcomer will overcome you come out a victoriously it doesn't matter what you are facing it doesn't matter the circumstances it doesn't matter the background but if you have hope and faith in god you will come out victorious the word of god as it goes out we have seen the lord heal we have seen the lord do great things to our students as the word of god is being preached therefore just open your heart, listen to God, and as I continue, continue making a prayer to God. God, this is my prayer. An overcomer recognizes that knowledge and wisdom and success is given by God. You can do nothing, as Grace has said, without God. And once you acknowledge this, those who acknowledge, I'm humbled by people like your principal, maybe people have gone up the rounder of academics, but still they are humbled before God, and even your teachers that are here. And therefore, young men, I want to tell you in, uh, here that God starts working in your life when you are young, and the devil does the same when you are young. He does not wait to steal you when you are 40 or 50 when you are in school. An overcomer's mindset characteristic number one is he recognizes that knowledge and wisdom and success is given by God like Solomon. One time when uh, David was, was the father of Solomon and he, when he was growing old and he desired that uh, uh, one of, as God had promised him, that one of his sons is going to sit in the, uh, and rule Israel. And when it was uh, Solomon, one night, God came to Solomon and God asked him, what can I do for you? What did Solomon tell God? That is 2 Chronicles chapter 1 and verse 7. Now on that night, God appeared to Solomon and said to him, ask, what shall I give to you? I move to verse 10. Now give me wisdom and knowledge. Verse 12, wisdom and knowledge are granted to you and I'll give you riches, wealth and honor. So where Solomon knew that wisdom and knowledge I cannot rule Israel on my own and therefore what he asked God I know wisdom and knowledge comes from you give it to me that I may do it in accordance to your will that I may uh, rule Israel in accordance to your will and therefore we are students our lives are still more being molded here in school and therefore one thing we know our teachers have taught us from January form 4 from the time we came here to form 1 form 2 form 3 form 4 we have done a lot we have done we have committed ourselves to studies and we but one thing we want to appreciate today in this sunday service that knowledge and wisdom and success comes from comes from god first chronicles 28 9 as for you my son solomon know the god of your father and serve him with a royal heart and with a willing mind for the lord searches all hearts and understands all the intent of the thought one thing you cannot do is that we cannot lie to god as grace has reminded us that god is the one he searches our hearts and you know the intent of our mind you know god created a mind and gave and put brain in our mind but one thing that it my heart sometimes is that the things that our young people do and even allow in that great great uh, mind and great gift that god gave us if you only know the importance and the value of a brain to god and he alone who created this is the only one who can uh, that is who can read what is in your mind and uh, you know this is where in, in our this is in the mind is where god has put the brain and in the brain is where they are our mind there that is where they are our dreams that is where they are our memories and not all our thoughts and if i can open the brain of two of you to you wake up and give a they virtually look the same but your memory the brain uh, the thought and the dreams that are in this brain what you have allowed it to to be in your brain is what makes us different that's what you de determines whether you become a success or you become successful or you are not going to to succeed so take care of your mind therefore an overcomer if you want to overcome this is somebody who is able to control your mind 
into your heart. Jeremiah 17:10, God says, I the Lord search the heart and test the mind to repay every man according to his ways, according to the fruits of his doing. So we are just about to do our form, uh, our KCSE form first. According to the work that we have been doing, the Lord is just about uh, to repair us. But I want to know and I want to believe that the Lord has been our helper through and through. Uh, so as we continue to as we continue one thing we have been asking the students let us always pray with the words in the book of philippians 2 5 you know paul was telling the philippians let this mind be in you that was in christ jesus if you strive to have the mindset of our lord jesus christ you can never go it wrong even socially academically or anywhere in in your life you are going to remain in the path that god has charted for you uh, from the beginning you know our our destinies are break, destined by god when he created us as he was telling jeremiah but every every step every every step every action every decision toward that destiny it's your own responsibility and it is you to to see am i going to obey am i going to obey what god is telling me so that i can reach my destiny and therefore let us guard our hearts as young people sometimes sometimes because of maybe we are still being molded there's a lot of lies from the devil but if you base uh, yourself and your life on christ god will continue molding you until he make you what he created you to finally an overcomer is somebody who knows how to surrender to god there are situations and circumstances in life that you we cannot we cannot control we have no power uh, over them even as young people but when you surrender your life to god there is a way god will guide you there is a way god will make sure that you will go through school maybe you'll even get a sponsor through uh, through through the way on the way and you'll finally become god's idea or what god created you to be We hope that you have learned something new together with us right here in Kericho High School in Kericho County and we've learned about which topic? Being an, overcomer. Being an overcomer and having an overcomer's mindset. Stay with us, there's much more that we have from right here in Kericho High School, so...